Welcome back to Artistry. I'm your host, Tairas Wanyoike. Now, we move on with the tools that we had started. Uh, we have discussed quite a number of them. Now, we have uh, another tool that I want us to discuss. We had discussed about the, the plane. The we, have, we, we had discussed about the, the, the jack plane, the smoothing plane. Here we have another kind of a plane that we classify as a special purpose plane. Special purpose in the sense that it is not for general planning. This, this plane is known as a plow plane. The plow plane we use to make grooves. Grooves are uh, some uh, line. I call it a line, but to depend on the bit fitted on it. They have, uh, uh, we put a groove along the grains. So along the grains, we use the plow plane. For example, you want to fit, uh, you want to fit plywood to the back of a cabinet. So we need to put a groove so that the, the, the plywood will slide in. So in the plow plane, we have the fence. This part that is moving here is the fence. So the fence will move to whichever point you want it to be. And then we have screws on top of it. You clamp the screws and then the fence will run along the edge. And this is the blade. The blade, this is a three millimeter blade here, fitted and tightened from here. And then we have the depth gauge. The depth gauge will determine how deep the groove will be. So once I, I loosen the, the screws for the fence, uh, I can demonstrate a little bit. So after marking, after marking for my groove and I'll tighten this I'll confirm the depth if the depth is not right if it is too deep then I will use a screwdriver to open the depth gauge I'll adjust the depth to however millimeters I want then screw it back once I screw it back, then I'm able to and then I'll do my groove. So you can see the kind of groove we are talking about. It has a three millimeter uh, width which is suitable for the three millimeter plywood. So the plywood will fit into that. And the adjustment on the fence is determ determining the kind of uh, distance which I will leave from the edge here. So that is the use of the plow plane. It's a special purpose plane, and it is not so common, but if you know it by name, then the seller will be able to identify it as long as you identify it correctly by name. So that is the plow plane. We had the jack plane or the general purpose plane. We have the smoothing plane. We have the triplane, which is bigger than the general purpose plane. And on planes, I think that is a far we will go for today. But going to, we may revisit it once we have another kind of plane uh, to demonstrate. Now, on the power tools, on the power tools, I want to demonstrate the use or to name this tool. It is also very common. It's a power tool. It has a cord to it, unlike the, the battery screwer or the cordless drill. So this one, we call it 
the electric drill or the hammer drill. The hammer drill in the sense that it's also used for uh, drilling in the wall. Uh, so we have the chuck here. The chuck is used to fit the bit that is going to screw. You can as well use it for this purpose. You can fit an engineering bit here and then still use it for uh, drilling small holes. And then we can as well use it to drill the wall. Mostly it is used for drilling the wall and again drilling holes that will require bigger bits from 10 millimeter up to 12 for this particular model. But we have bigger ones that will hold the bit up to 20 millimeters or so. But this one, the maximum it should hold is 12 millimeter. That is to take care of the motor inside here, the armature, and also the functionality of the whole machine. So it has some operations on top here. You may have this drill and you don't know how to use it. Perhaps you have the drill and once you want to drill in wood, you you have the hammering effect. You don't know how to arrest that. So on top here, we have a gear that is indicated like the serrations on the engineering bit here and another one kind of a hammer on this other side. So this side that is indicated kind of a hammer, it is used for drilling the wall. So once you fit the masonry bit uh, uh, in front here, you tighten it. The chuck key here is used to tighten the bits. So this, this is known as the chuck key. The chuck key is used here uh, on the chuck to tighten the bit. So I'll use this for illustration. Then I'll fit the bit there. I'll rotate this one. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit difficult. But once I tighten it, then the bit cannot come out. And then, uh, and then we will fit it here. But this being an engineering bit, I will use this side to drill. So once I fit it here, then I'll connect it to power, and then I'll hold it, and then I will use it to drill. So for now, I'm just demonstrating the tool and later we shall now come to action where we shall fit it to the power source. So we have quite a range of many tools, but for now uh, we will just uh, go for a short break. Then we will come back and finish on the other tools, including this one, which is very uh, useful in carpentry and joinery. So for now, uh, we go for a short break. Thank you. Thank you.